And we all know this, matter of fact, in John 14, uh, we're going to start, I was going to start in verse 12, but I think we're going to start just a little bit before that. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> now, in John 14, in <clears throat> starting in verse 8, yes, I guess we will start a little earlier than that. Philip saith unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. And Jesus saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, Show us the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? <clears throat> now, notice what he says next. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. The Father that dwelleth in him, he doeth the, the works. And yet, Jesus said, <clears throat> that I go to the Father. <clears throat> so the Father dwells in him, and yet he's going to the Father, which means the Father was also somewhere else. And so we can see what he means when he says the Father dwelleth in me, and that's really kind of the overall gist of what we want to talk about today because <clears throat> obviously we have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We have uh, the Father that we know is in heaven. We have the Son, Jesus, sitting at the right hand of the Father. And we know that we're told that we are seated with him. And yet here we are. And so the same way that we can say Jesus is with us, especially in the form of the Holy Spirit, because he said that he had to go, and if he didn't go, then he couldn't send the, the Spirit back to us. And then he said, I'm not going to leave you uh, comfortless or orphans. He said, but I'm going to come to you again. And so he's referring most of these times here, uh, not to his second coming in that sense, but into his incoming, in the sense that he is in us and with us, and yet he's there. So just as the Father is there and in us, we are here and there with him. And so there is a one in union. And I want you to realize that it is the, as we said, we have the Father in us, we have the Son in us, and we have the Spirit in us. And now understand the reason we do that is because we're all in union with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But it is by way of the Spirit that we are connected to him. Does that make sense? So in other words, we, Jesus is our Lord. We make him the Lord of our life, and he sends his spirit into us, and now we have that constant communication, that constant connection, okay? Now, so he says here in verse 10, he says, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Notice Jesus didn't even claim to do the works himself. He said it was the Father in him. Then he said, verse 11, believe me, that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. And if you don't believe my words, look what I do. That proves the Father's in me. Now, this, this goes back to the fact, of course, that uh, your life should reflect who you are in communion with. 